I think we have a really unique opportunity uh, through this, the Rewiring the Brain for Peace uh, initiative through the Alliance for Peace Building because it brings together an intersection of out-of-the-box thinkers from groups that wouldn't normally be playing in the same sandbox so that now we have neuroscientists who are coming with a perspective of what does violence look like in a literal sense, where is violence, how does it get there, what are the risk factors, with peace builders who can use that information to now uh, reframe, we rewire the brain and behaviors in conflict areas, um, and with people that are sort of leaders and experts in ritualized spiritual behaviors and practices, you put the three together and now you have a a whole new way of um, conflict resolution, a real innovative uh, special sauce to create uh, peace. It's a rare opportunity. So, uh, you know, I come as a neuroscientist and I think that people don't recognize um, how, first, two things. First, how little we know about the brain and the neurosciences in general. I think people are shocked when they, when they realize how little we do know. It's the least explored of all of our sciences. And uh, we're just scratching the surface. But what we do know is um, also surprising. And th so the second thing that people don't realize it makes sense when you explain it, but the brain is the source of our memories, feelings, and behaviors. And so if we want to study abnormal behaviors, we have to study abnormal chemistry or structure of this organ, the brain. And it really is that simple. Um, and people are surprised um, also to learn that we can study it in a scientific fashion. So while we might not know a lot about it right now, we do know that when risk factors go into this black box, a likely result is violent aggressive behavior and at the same time if protective factors go into this black box the result is kindness, compassion, connection, resilience and community and uh, I think that if we can find ways to most effectively protect it we move away from the risky uh, behaviors that lead to violence and we and we can uh, build in healthier individuals and conflict resolution, even if we don't know yet what's happening inside. And um, so that's what, gets, that's what gets me up and gets me excited. <laughs>